Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmad Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the classification of receptors. Now what actually receptors are? Receptors word comes from the receiver. Receivers mean that they are going to receive something or they are going to take something or they are going to feel something. So the receptors in the living organisms, they detect changes in the external as well as in the internal environment of an animal when we talk about the external it means any change in the environment for example temperature change water level change humidity so all these things they are external changes when we talk about the internal it means that inside the body for example water level changes food digestion completed hunger feeling pain all these things they are internal changes so in the animals the receptors they may be cell they may be neuron endings or they may be some receptor organs. When we talk about the classification of receptors, we have five types of receptors. Chemoreceptors, mechanoreceptors, photoreceptors, thermoreceptors and nociceptors. Talking about chemoreceptors, the chemoreceptor word is made up of chemo and receptors. Receptors mean to receive and chemo mean chemicals. So these receptors, they are going to detect the changes in the chemical substances and after detecting the changes in the chemical substances they are going to generate biological signals now these chemicals they may be smell taste and when we talk about blood it may be carbon dioxide oxygen glucose amino acids and fatty acids so these are the internal changes while these are the external changes the receptors in hypothalamus cerebellum and Midbrain, they are actually related to chemoreceptors. Here you can see this part here is cerebellum. This part here is hypothalamus. Here you can see this part. So these are the sites where the chemoreceptors they are present or central chemoreceptors they are present. Here you can see that the changes they are detected by the brain. And these changes may be carbon dioxide, oxygen, hydrogen ion and then they are going to respond accordingly. Second type of receptors are mechanoreceptors. Here the mechano means mechanical. These receptors rely extracellular stimulus to, in, to intracellular signal induction. It means that they are going to receive the external signals and then they are going to generate the internal stimuli so that body can respond accordingly for example they can detect the stimulus from the touch from the pressure from hearing from equilibrium so all these are external changes which are going to be detected by the mechano receptors now uh, in the body the free nerve endings expanded tip endings and stray endings they are responsible for the detection of these mechanical changes or they are the mechanoreceptors here you can see these are the free endings these are the free endings all are separate the expanded tip receptors here you can see that they are expanded but they are interrelated to each other here you can see that the receptors or the mechanoreceptors for the touch they are present in the dermis and they are encapsulate along with this here you can see these are the receptors which are attached with the hair and they are going to detect the hair movement. Similarly, here are the receptors which are going to detect the strong pressure which are also present in the dermis. So, if your hair is moving and if you are feeling light touch or you are feeling strong pressure, the receptors they can detect that. Then comes the photoreceptors. Photo means light. So, they respond to the light. The road and cone cells in the eye or the retina, they are responsible for the detection of light or they are the photoreceptors. Here you can see that this part here, the retina, it consists of roads and cone cells. The cone cells, they are related to the color vision. While the road cells, they are helping you to see in the night. Then comes the thermoreceptors. The thermo word means temperature so they are going to detect the heat energy cold or warm temperatures in the environment and then they are going to respond accordingly they are actually the free nerve endings and here you can see that these are the receptors which are going to detect the cold here you can see these are also 
the free nerve endings you can see that all endings are separated from each other um, then here you can see that they are going to detect the heat they are also free nerve ending free means that they are like this separate the endings are separate from each other like this the last receptor is nociceptor here the noci mean pain so they are going to detect the signals nociceptors they are free pair nerve endings which are found in the skin muscles joints and bones when we talk about the free it means that they are just like i told you free nerve ending and when we talk about pair it means that they are not encapsulated here you can see this purple thing here these are the capsules or they are not bare but when we talk about the pain receptors they don't have any kind of encapsulation or they are bare so you can see that they are present in the epidermis and they have this free nerve endings and they are not encapsulated or not protected that is why they are bare okay and this is the reason because they are present in the epidermis so any small cut in your skin you can easily detect that so that was all about the classification of receptors if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video